Tonight is an extraordinary night that, that I can only describe as a pure Kansas night. So I made the decision to take a little chance and do something that might cause you to think I'm a little bit crazy because I think that's better than leaving and you all thinking that I'm a little bit ordinary. Tonight is a night about a synergy that can't exist anywhere else in the world. It's about what happens when you bring the best that man has to offer, incredibly talented musicians, and you pair them with the best that God has given us, the Flint Hills. It's about an event that can't happen on the East or the West Coast, and it's about people on the East and the West Coast not even knowing about the Flint Hills. It, it's a night... It's a night about not caring that they don't know about the Flint Hills, and after the BP disaster, hoping that they never find out. And because it's a pure Kansas night, it's about sunflowers and wheat and Jayhawks and Wildcats, and because it's about the whole state, it's about tigers, and I'm talking about the Fort Hayes kind, not the Missouri kind. It's about lingabons, it's about hornets, it's about gorillas, and it's about wheat shockers. It's about all the unique things that we built in Kansas for the last 150 years, from the Brookville Hotel to the amazing Lindsborg Gallery. And it's about all the things that God has given us in this incredible state. Our beautiful state park, Cheyenne Bottoms, the chalk pyramids, and the stunning Flint Hills that we have right here. And it's even about the hokey things in this state that people laugh about. It's about Big Brutus, it's about the Garden of Eden, it's about the five-legged cow in Oakley. Because when they laugh, we know that we can laugh at ourselves and we know that it's what makes us real. And it's about the fact that 150 years ago, Quantrell really did invade Lawrence and he really did kill 183 innocent men, women, and children because Missouri wanted to make this a slave state. And it's about the fact that the Free Staters pushed them back and made this state what it is today. It's about the fact that even though it happened 150 years ago, no one here is ever going to forget those raids. And most of us do everything we can to avoid Missouri because we might accidentally spend some money in that state that one time invaded us. It's about everything in Kansas, like Mike Hayden's accent and living in the state so long that you don't even notice that he has an accent anymore. It's not about, let me tell you what it's not about. It's not about those people that when they find out that you're from Kansas, they ask you if that's where Dorothy lives. It's not about those people that when you cross the state line or you're somewhere unusual, they look at you and say, Toto, I guess we're not in Kansas anymore. Because that was mildly funny when you were eight years old, but for the last 3,000 times, it's just been downright annoying. And it is about people that understand that the Wizard of Oz has nothing to do with Dorothy and Toto and the Red Ruby Slippers. And it doesn't even have anything to do with the Tin Man and the, and the Scarecrow and the Cowardly Lion. But it is about people that understand that the Wizard of Oz has everything to do with wisdom and passion and courage. And it makes sense that it was in Kansas because we have an abundance of all three right here in this state. And tonight is about knowing that we've had a progressive past, and that through whatever difficulties encounter count us in the future, we know we're gonna make it to the stars. Tonight, it's about an incredible synergy. It's not possible anywhere else. It's only possible here, now, in Kansas, in the Flint Hills, with you, me, and everyone else that is here. So please join me in experiencing an unbelievable synergy, a synergy that I can only describe as a pure Kansas night.